Romani, also Romani, Romani, Romani Chib, is any of several languages of the Romani people belonging to the Indo-Aryan branch of the Indo-European language family. According to Ethnologue, seven varieties of Romani are divergent enough to be considered languages of their own. The largest of these are Vlax Romani, about 500,000 speakers, Balkan Romani, 600,000, and Sinte Romani, 300,000. Some Romani communities speak mixed languages based on the surrounding language with retained Romani-derived vocabulary, these are known by linguists as para-Romani varieties, rather than dialects of the Romani language itself. The differences between the various varieties can be as large as, for example, the differences between the Slavic languages. Name Speakers of the Romani language usually refer to the language as Romani chip. The Romani language, or Romanes, in a Rom way. This derives from the Romani word Rom, meaning either a member of the Romani group or husband. This is also where the term Roma derives in English, although some Roma groups refer to themselves using other demonyms, e.g., Kaale, Sinti, etc. The English spelling, our Romani language with two initial R's may also be found, reflecting a different transcription of the Romani phoneme R. Before the late 19th century, English language texts usually referred to the language as the Gypsy language. While it is derogatory, in the USA, Gypsy is still the most understood term, as Romani is not in common use there. Classification in the 18th century, it was shown by comparative studies that Romani belongs to the Indo-European language family. In 1763 Valle Istvan, a Calvinist pastor from Satu Mare in Transylvania, was the first to notice the similarity between Romani and Indo-Aryan by comparing the Romani dialect of Gyr with the language perhaps Sinhalese, spoken by three Sri Lankan students he met in the Netherlands. This was followed by the linguist Johann Christian Christoph Rudiger (1751–1822), whose book Von der Sprache und Herkunft der Zigüner aus Indien (1782) proved Romani was descended from Sanskrit. This prompted the philosopher Christian Jakob Krauss to collect linguistic evidence by systematically interviewing the Roma in Königsberg prison. Krauss. S findings were never published, but they may have influenced or laid the groundwork for later linguists, especially August Pott and his pioneering Darstellung die Ziguner in Europa und ASEAN Research into the way the Romani dialects branched out was started in 1872 by the slavicist Frank McClossack in a series of essays. However, it was the philologist Ralph Turner. S. 1927 article, The Position of Romani in Indo-Aryan, that served as the basis for the integrating Romani into the history of Indian languages. Romani is an Indo-Aryan language that is part of the Balkan Sprachbund. It is the only new Indo-Aryan spoken exclusively outside the Indian subcontinent. Romani is sometimes classified in the Central Zone or Northwestern Zone Indo-Aryan languages, and sometimes treated as a group of its own. Romani shares a number of features with the Central Zone languages. The most significant isoglosses are the shift of Old Indo-Aryan art to U or I, Sanskrit senior, Romani son, to hear, and K's to KH, Sanskrit Aksi, Romani J-A-K-H, I. However, unlike other Central Zone languages, Romani preserves many dental clusters, Romani trin, three, frau, brother. Compare Hindi tin, by. This implies that Romani split from the Central Zone languages before the Middle Indo-Aryan period. However, Romani shows some features of New Indo-Aryan, such as erosion of the original nominal case system towards a nominative, oblique dichotomy, with new grammaticalized case suffixes added on. This means that the Romani exodus from India could not have happened until late in the first millennium. Many words are similar to the Marwari and Lambadi languages spoken in large parts of India. However, Romani is nearer to the Marwari spoken in Rajasthan, India. Romani also shows some similarity to the Northwestern Zone languages. In particular, the grammaticalization of enclitic pronouns as person markers on verbs, cardo, done, plus me, me, 
Kurjam. I did. Is also found in languages such as Kashmiri and Shina. This evidences a northwest migration during the split from the central zone languages consistent with a later migration to Europe. Based on these data, Matras 2006 views Romani as kind of Indian hybrid, a central Indic dialect that had undergone partial convergence with northern Indic languages. In terms of its grammatical structures, Romani is conservative in maintaining almost intact the Middle Indo-Aryan present tense person concord markers, and in maintaining consonantal endings for nominal case, both features that have been eroded in most other modern Indo-Aryan languages. Romani shows a number of phonetic changes that distinguish it from other Indo-Aryan languages, in particular, the devoicing of voiced aspirates bhdhgh greater than phthkh, shift of medial td to l, of short a to E, initial KH to X, rhoticization of retroflex D, T, DD, etc. to R and R, and shift of inflectional A to O. After leaving the Indian subcontinent, Romani was heavily affected by contact with European languages. The most significant of these was medieval Greek, which contributed lexically, phonemically, and grammatically to early Romani 10th 13th centuries. This includes inflectional affixes for nouns, and verbs that are still productive with borrowed vocabulary, the shift to vo word order, and the adoption of a preposed definite article. Early Romani also borrowed from Armenian and Persian. Romani and Domari share some similarities. Agglutination of postpositions of the second layer or case marking clitics to the nominal stem, concord markers for the past tense, the neutralization of gender marking in the plural, and the use of the oblique case as an accusative. This has prompted much discussion about the relationships between these two languages. Domari was once thought to be the sister language of Romani, the two languages having split after the departure from the Indian subcontinent, but more recent research suggests that the differences between them are significant enough to treat them as two separate languages within the central zone Hindustani group of languages. The Dom and the Ram therefore likely descend from two different migration waves out of India, separated by several centuries. Numerals in the Romani, Domari and Lomavran languages, with Hindi and Persian forms for comparison. Note that Romani 7-9 are borrowed from Greek. History The first attestation of Romani is from 1542 AD in Western Europe. The earlier history of the Romani language is completely undocumented, and is understood primarily through comparative linguistic evidence, linguistic evaluation carried out in the 19th century by Pott 1845, and Miklosich (1882–1888) showed the Romani language to be a new Indo-Aryan language, Mia, not a Middle Indo-Aryan, Mia, establishing that the ancestors of the Romani could not have left India significantly earlier than AD 1000. The principal argument favoring a migration during or after the transition period to Nia is the loss of the old system of nominal case, and its reduction to just a two-way case system, nominative versus oblique. A secondary argument concerns the system of gender differentiation. Romani has only two genders, masculine and feminine. Middle Indo-Aryan languages, named Mia, generally had three genders, masculine, feminine and neuter, and some modern Indo-Aryan languages retain this old system even today. It is argued that loss of the neuter gender did not occur until the transition to Nia. Most of the neuter nouns became masculine while a few feminine, like the neuter Agni, Agni in the Prakrit became the feminine Aga ag, in Hindi and Jag in Romani. The parallels in grammatical gender evolution between Romani and other Nia languages have been cited as evidence that the forerunner of Romani remained on the Indian subcontinent until a later period, perhaps even as late as the 10th century. There is no historical proof to clarify who the ancestors of the Romani were or what motivated them to emigrate from the Indian subcontinent, but there are various theories. The influence of Greek, and to a lesser extent of the Iranian languages like Persian and Kurdish and Armenian, points to a prolonged stay in Anatolia after the departure from South Asia. The Mongol invasion of Europe beginning in the first half of the 13th century triggered another westward migration. The Romani arrived in Europe and afterwards spread to the other continents. The great distances between the scattered Romani groups led to the development of local community distinctions. The differing local influences have greatly affected the modern language, splitting it into a number of different, originally exclusively regional dialects. 
Today Romani is spoken by small groups in 42 European countries. A project at Manchester University in England is transcribing Romani dialects, many of which are on the brink of extinction, for the first time. Dialects Today's dialects of Romani are differentiated by the vocabulary accumulated since their departure from Anatolia, as well as through divergent phonemic evolution and grammatical features. Many Roma no longer speak the language or speak various new contact languages from the local language with the addition of Romani vocabulary. Dialect differentiation began with the dispersal of the Romani from the Balkans around the 14th century and on, and with their settlement in areas across Europe in the 16th and 17th centuries. The two most significant areas of divergence are the southeast with epicenter of the northern Balkans and west central Europe with epicenter Germany. The central dialects replace S in grammatical paradigms with H. The West Northern dialects append J, simplify and to R, retain N in the nominalizer Ipen, Iben, and lose adjectival past tense in intransitives, Gelo, Jelly Gelas. He, she went. Other isoglosses, especially. Demonstratives, two-thirds place perfective concord markers, lone verb markers, motivate the division into Balkan, VLAX, Central, Northeast, and Northwest dialects. A long-standing common categorization was a division between the VLAX from Block and non-VLAX dialects. VLAX are those Roma people who lived many centuries in the territory of Romania in slavery. The main distinction between the two groups is the degree to which their vocabulary is borrowed from Romanian. Bernard Gilliath Smith first made this distinction, and coined the term VLAX in 1915 in the book The Report on the Gypsy Tribes of Northeast Bulgaria. The VLAX dialect group, now seen as just one of about ten groups see below, has nevertheless become very widespread geographically. Matras 2002, 2005, has argued for a theory of geographical classification of Romani dialects, which is based on the diffusion in space of innovations. According to this theory, early Romani, as spoken in the Byzantine Empire, was brought to western and other parts of Europe through population migrations of Rom in the 14th-15th centuries. These groups settled in the various European regions during the 16th and 17th centuries, acquiring fluency in a variety of contact languages. Changes emerged then, which spread in wave-like patterns, creating the dialect differences attested today. According to Matras, there were two major centers of innovations, some changes emerged in Western Europe, Germany and vicinity, spreading eastwards, other emerged in the Wallachian area, spreading to the west and south. In addition, many regional and local isoglosses formed, creating a complex wave of language boundaries. Matras points to the prothesis of J in arrow greater than Jaro. Egg. And OV greater than JOV. He. As typical examples of west to east diffusion, and of addition of prothetica in Bijiv greater than Avijiv as a typical east to west spread. His conclusion is that dialect differences formed in situ, and not as a result of different waves of migration. According to this classification, the dialects are split as follows Northern Romani dialects in Western and Northern Europe, Southern Italy, and the Iberian Peninsula. Central Romani dialects from southern Poland, Slovakia, Hungary, Carpathian Ruthenia and southeastern Austria Balkan Romani dialects, including the Black Sea Coast dialects VLAX Romani dialects, chiefly associated with the historical Wallachian and Transylvanian regions, with outmigrants in various regions throughout Europe and beyond Sil Ethnologue has the following classification Balkan Romani Arlia Jumbazi Tinners Romani Northern Romani Baltic Romani Estonian Romani Latvian Romani Lettish Romani North Russian Romani Polish Romani White Russian Romani Carpathian Romani, Central Romani, East Slovak Romani, Moravian Romani, West Slovak Romani, Kalo Finnish Romani, 
Sinte Romani, Abruzzese, Serbian Romani, Slovenian Croatian Romani, Welsh Romani, Vlax Romani, Churari, Chuerico, Sivmakers, Eastern Vlax Romani, Bisa, Gogar. Grekerja, Greco, Calderish, Coppersmith, Kelderashko, Livari, Lovarico, Makvano, Makvanmiko, North Albanian Romani, Sedentary Bulgaria Romani, Sedentary Romania Romani, Serbo Bosnian Romani South Albanian Romani Ukraine Moldavia Romani Zagungian a series of articles beginning from 1982 Marcel Korthaid proposed a different kind of classification He concentrates on the dialectal diversity of Romani in three successive strata of expansion using the criteria of phonological and grammatical changes Finding the common linguistic features of the dialects, he presents the historical evolution from the first stratum, the dialects closest to the Anatolian Romani of the 13th century, to the second and third strata. He also names as Paga dialects. After the Pogadi dialect of Great Britain, those with only a Romani vocabulary grafted into a non-Romani language, normally referred to as para-Romani. A table of some dialectal differences. The first stratum includes the oldest dialects, Mekari of Tirana, Kabui of Korka, Zandori, Drindari, Erli, Arli, Bugorji, Mahari of Prishtina, Ursari, Richinari, Spoatori, Zaroxane, Karpeshchi, Polska Roma, Kaale from Finland, Sinto Manush, and the so-called Baltic dialects. In the second there are Sergari of Podgorica, Gerbeti, Jambashi, Fichiri, Filippi of Agia Varvara. The third comprises the rest of the so-called Gypsy dialects, including Kaldarish, Livari, Makvano. Mixed languages Some Romanis have developed mixed languages, chiefly by retaining Romani lexical items and adopting second language grammatical structures, including In Northern Europe Angloromani, in British Isles Scottish Cant, in Scotland Skandoromani, in Scandinavia On the Iberian Peninsula Aromancela, in the Basque Country Calo, in Portugal and Spain In Southeast Europe Romano-Greek Romano-Serbian In the Caucasus, Armenia Lomavran Geographic distribution Romani is the only Indo-Aryan language spoken almost exclusively in Europe apart from emigrant populations, the most concentrated areas of Romani speakers are found in Romania. Although there are no reliable figures for the exact number of Romani speakers, it may be the largest minority language of the European Union. Status the language is recognized as a minority language in many countries. At present the only places in the world where Romani is employed as an official language are the Republic of Kosovo, only regionally, not nationally, and the suto orizari municipality within the administrative borders of the Macedonian capital of Skopje. The first efforts to publish in Romani were undertaken in the interwar Soviet Union, using the Cyrillic script, and in communist Yugoslavia, some traditional communities have expressed opposition to codifying Romani or having it used in public functions. However, the mainstream trend has been towards standardization, different variants of the language are now in the process of being codified in those countries with high Romani populations, for example, Slovakia. There are also some attempts currently aimed at the creation of a unified standard language. 
A standardized form of Romani is used in Serbia, and in Serbia's autonomous province of Vojvodina, Romani is one of the officially recognized languages of minorities having its own radio stations and news broadcasts. In Romania, a country with a sizable Romani minority 3.3% of the total population, there is a unified teaching system of the Romani language for all dialects spoken in the country. This is primarily a result of the work of Gheorghe Sarau, who made Romani textbooks for teaching Romani children in the Romani language. He teaches a purified, mildly prescriptive language, choosing the original Indo-Aryan words and grammatical elements from various dialects. The pronunciation is mostly like that of the dialects from the first stratum. When there are more variants in the dialects, the variant that most closely resembles the oldest forms is chosen, like Bayav, instead of Abiyav, Abayao, Akana instead of Akonic, Shunav instead of Ashunav or Ashunau, etc. An effort is also made to derive new words from the vocabulary already in use, i.e., Zuryavno, airplane, Vortoran, slide rule, Palpaletikivnasko, retrospectively, Pashnivni, adjective. There is an ever-changing set of borrowings from Romanian as well, including such terms as Vremea, weather, time, primaria, town hall, frishka, cream, svinto, saint, holy. Hindi-based neologisms include vigili, bulb, electricity, missile, example, chitro, drawing, design, lekapen, writing, while there are also English-based neologisms, like printiseral, to print. Romani is now used on the internet, in some local media, and in some countries as a medium of instruction. Orthography Historically, Romani was an exclusively unwritten language, for example, Slovakian Romani's orthography was codified only in 1971. The overwhelming majority of academic and non academic literature produced currently in Romani is written using a Latin based orthography. The proposals to form a unified Romani alphabet and one standard Romani language by either choosing one dialect as a standard, or by merging more dialects together, have not been successful. Instead, the trend is towards a model where each dialect has its own writing system. Among native speakers, the most common pattern for individual authors to use an orthography based on the writing system of the dominant contact language, thus Romanian in Romania, Hungarian in Hungary and so on. To demonstrate the differences, the phrase Romai Tieb, which means Romani language, in all the dialects, can be written as Romani Szib, Romani Sib, Romani Chib, Romani Chiwi, Romani C, Romani Sib, Romani Shub, R Romani Chib, Romani Chib, Romani Chib, Romaji Eschub and so on. A currently observable trend, however, appears to be the adoption of a loosely English and Czech-oriented orthography, developed spontaneously by native speakers for use online and through email. Phonology The Romani sound system is not highly unusual among European languages. Its most marked features are a three-way contrast between unvoiced, voiced, and aspirated stops, ptkc, bdgdz, and phthkh, and the presence in some dialects of a second rhotic r, realized as uvular th, a long trill, r, or retroflex, th, or th. The following is the core sound inventory of Romani. Phonemes in parentheses are only found in some dialects. Eastern and Southeastern European Romani dialects commonly have palatalized consonants, either distinctive or allophonic. Some dialects add the central vowel, her. Vowel length is often distinctive in Western European Romani dialects. Loans from contact languages often allow other non native phonemes. Conservative dialects of Romani have final stress, with the exception of some unstressed affixes, e.g., the vocative ending, the case endings added onto the accusative noun, and the remoteness tense marker. Central and Western European dialects often have shifted stress earlier in the word. At the end of the word, voiced consonants become voiceless and aspirated ones lose aspiration. However, both are kept written as voiced, aspirated one. Examples, lexicon morphology nominals Nominals in Romani are nouns, adjectives, pronouns and numerals. Some sources describe articles as nominals. The indefinite article is often borrowed from the local contact language. Types General Romani is an unusual language, in having two classes of nominals, based on the historic origin of the word, that have a completely different morphology. The two classes can be called inherited and borrowed, but this article uses names from Matras 2006, Icheoclitic and Xenoclitic. The class to which a word belongs is obvious from its ending. Icheoclitic The first class is the old, Indian vocabulary, and to some extent Persian, Armenian and Greek loanwords. 
The Icheoclitic class can also be divided into two sub-classes, based on the ending. Nominals ending in O, I The ending of words in this sub-class is O with masculines, I with feminines, with the latter ending triggering palatalization of preceding D, T, N, L to D, T, N, L. Examples Masculine O Chavo, the sun O Signo, the little O Amaro, R, M Feminine E Rockley, non Romani girl E Sikni, small, note the change N greater than N E Amari, R's, F Nominals without ending all words in this sub-class have no endings, regardless of gender. Examples Masculine O Frau, Spal, the brother O Sukar, the nice M O Dat, the father Feminine E Fen, the sister E Sukar, the nice F, same as M Edaj, the mother. Xenoclitic. The second class is loanwords from European languages. Matras adds that the morphology of the new loanwords might be borrowed from Greek. The ending of borrowed masculine is os, is, as, us, and the borrowed feminine ends in a. Examples from Slovakian Romani. Masculine. O Sustros, Shoemaker O Autobuses, Bus O Usitelis, Teacher, M Feminine E Rockla, Mica, Skirt E Oblaka, Vokna, Window E Usitelka, Teacher, F, from Usitelka in Slovak Basics of Morphology Romani has two grammatical genders, masculine, feminine, and two numbers, singular, plural. All nominals can be singular or plural. Cases Nouns are marked for case, the most important being the nominative and the accusative case. The vocative, nominative and indirect case are a bit outside of the case system as are produced only by adding a suffix to the root. Example, the suffix for singular masculine vocative of icheoclitic types is eja chaveha you, boy, or son siknea you, little one frala, brother, the other five cases are a little different. They are all derived from an indirect root that is made a little differently for each type. The indirect root is the same as the accusative case. To this root, every case adds its own suffix, with disregard to gender or type te, de, locative and prepositional, k, g, e, dative, tar, dar, ablative, sa, r, instrumental and commutative, and kurt, g, e, r, genitive. Example, the endings for o, i ending nominals are as follows. Example, the suffix for indirect root for masculine plural for all inherited words is n, the dative suffix is k, o, kazaro, mushroom, Kozarin, the indirect root, also used as accusative. Nila fears Kozarang. In the summer we go on mushrooms, meaning picking mushrooms. There are many declension classes of nouns that decline differently, and show dialectal variation. Slovakian Romani also uses these nine cases. Nominative. Vocative. Accusative. Dative. Locative Ablative Instrumental Genitive Indirect Cassith indirect case is used when a word functions as an attribute before a word, and is not considered a case in some literature. Agreement Romani shows the typically Indo-Aryan pattern of the genitive agreeing with its head noun. Example Chav s ker o frau. The boy. 
S. Brother Chav S. Kur I. Fen. The boy. S. Sister. Adjectives and the definite article show agreement with the noun they modify. Example Mir O Dad. My father. Mir I D A J. My mother. Verbs Romani derivations are highly synthetic and partly agglutinative. However, they are also sensitive to recent development, for example, in general, Romani in Slavic countries show an adoption of productive actions art morphology. The core of the verb is the lexical root, verb morphology is suffixed, the verb stem including derivation markers by itself has non-perfective aspect and is present or subjunctive. Types Similarly to nominals, verbs in Romani belong to several classes, but unlike nominals, these are not based on historical origin. However, the loaned verbs can be recognized, again, by specific endings, which some argue are Greek in origin. Irregular verbs Some words are irregular, like te gel, to be. Class 1 the next three classes are recognizable by suffix in third person singular. The first class, called I, has a suffix L in third person singular. Examples, in 3 ps. sg Te carol to do Te sunnel, to hear Te decal, to see Class 2 Words in the second category, called to, have a suffix L in third person singular. Examples, in 3 ps. sg Te jal, to go Te ladzel, to be ashamed, shy away Te asal, to laugh Te patal, to believe Te hal, to eat Class 3 all the words in the third class are semantically causative passive, examples Te Siklal, to learn Te Labal, to burn Te Martal, to be beaten Te Paslal, to lie Borrowed verbs Borrowed verbs from other languages are marked with affixes taken from Greek tense, aspect suffixes, including is, in, and as. Morphology The Romani verb has three persons and two numbers, singular and plural. There is no verbal distinction between masculine and feminine. Romani tenses are, not exclusively, present tense, future tense, two past tenses perfect and imperfect, present or past conditional and present imperative. Depending on the dialect, the suffix a marks the present, future, or conditional. There are many perfective suffixes, which are determined by root phonology, valency, and semantics, e.g. cur d. did. There are two sets of personal conjugation suffixes, one for non-perfective verbs, and another for perfective verbs. The non-perfective personal suffixes, continued from Middle Indo-Aryan, are as follows. These are slightly different for consonant and vowel final roots, e.g. xas. You eat. Cam s. You want. The perfective suffixes, deriving from late Middle Indo-Aryan enclitic pronouns, are as follows. Verbs may also take a further remoteness suffix as ahi, ys, s. With non-perfective verbs this marks the imperfect, habitual, or conditional. With the perfective, this marks the pluperfect or counterfactual. Class 1 All the persons and numbers of present tense of the word take carol. Various tenses of the same word, all in second person singular, Present, two caris. Future, two ka caris. Past imperfect equals present conditional, two karihas. Past perfect, two kirtle, ker plus d plus al. Past conditional, two kirdalas, ker plus d plus al plus as. Present imperative, ker. Class 2. 
All the persons and numbers of present tense of the word te patal. Various tenses of the word te chao, all in second person singular. Present 2 dzas. Future 2 dzaha. Past imperfect equals present conditional 2 jahas. Past perfect 2 jalom, a regular, regular form of 2 patas is 2 patanam. Past conditional 2 jalahas. Present imperative jala. Class 3. All the persons and numbers of present tense of the word de paslal. Note the added uv, which is typical for this group. Various tenses of the same word, all in second person singular again. Present two paslos, future two pasla, past imperfect equals present conditional two paslas, past perfect two paslalal, pasal plus il plus al, past conditional two paslalal is pasal plus il plus al plus as. Present imperative paslov. Valency. Valency markers are affixed to the verb root either to increase or decrease valency. There is dialectal variation as to which markers are most used. Common valency increasing markers are avenue, r, and cur, and common valency decreasing markers are jov and avenue. These may also be used to derive verbs from nouns and adjectives. Syntax. Romani syntax is quite different from most Indo-Aryan languages, and shows more similarity to the Balkan languages. Sevkova and Zelnayova, while describing Slovakian Romani, argues that Romani is a free word order language and that it allows for theme-reme structure, similarly to Czech, and that in some Romani dialects in East Slovakia, there is a tendency to put a verb at the end of a sentence. However, Matras describes it further. According to Matras, in most dialects of Romani, Romani is a vo language, with svo order in contrastive sentences and verb subject object order in thetic sentences. The tendency to put verb on the end in some dialects is the Slavic influence. Examples, from Slovakian Romani, odi kuchi silali. This cup is cold. Oda silali kuchi. This is a cold cup. Clauses are usually finite. Relative clauses, introduced by the relativizer chi, are postponed. Factual and non-factual complex clauses are distinguished. Romani in modern times Romani has lent several words to English such as pal, ultimately from Sanskrit broader, brother, and nark, informant, from Romani nak nose. Other Romani words in general slang are gadji, originally meaning person who's not Roma, currently used as a gender-neutral term for boyfriend, girlfriend in Bulgaria, shiv or shiv, knife. Urban British slang shows an increasing level of Romani influence, with some words becoming accepted into the lexicon of Standard English, for example, chav from an assumed Anglo-Romani word, meaning small boy, in the majority of dialects. There are efforts to teach and familiarize Vlax Romani to new generation of Romani so that Romani spoken in different parts of the world are connected through a single dialect of Romani. Indian Institute of Romani Studies, Chandigarh published several Romani language lessons through its journal Roma during the 1970s. Occasionally loanwords from other Indo-Iranian languages such as Hindi are mistakenly labeled as Romani due to surface similarities due to a shared root, such as Kushi, which is from Hindi, itself a loan from Persian Kus meaning excellent, healthy, happy. See also Balkan Romani Bohemian Romani Carpathian Romani Finnish Kalo language Laos Romani language Lodogorish Romani Alphabets Zargari Romani Peaky Blinders TV series References Sources Further reading Aliyev, I.V. I. Armak. The system of the personal pronouns in the Romani dialect in and around Kardjali, Bulgaria, in print, Albert Thomas Sinclair. George Fraser Black, ed. An American Romani Vocabulary, reprint ed. New York Public Library, 1915. Retrieved 24 April 2014. Francis Hines Groom, Gypsies. Encyclopædia Britannica, 7th ed., 1879. Volume 10, pages 611-618. This article contains texts written by the Welsh harper John Roberts, a native speaker of Romani, for Charles Leland. The English Gypsies and Their Language. 4th ed. London, Keegan Paul Trench, Trubner, 1893.
5. Walter Simpson, A History of the Gypsies, with Specimens of the Gypsy Language. Edited, with preface, introduction, and notes, and a disquisition on the past, present and future of Gypsidum, by James Simpson. London, Sampson Lowe and Marston, 1865. A History of the Gypsies with Specimens of the Gypsy Language by Walter Simpson. The Zincali, or, An Account of the Gypsies of Spain, with an original collection of their songs and poetry, 1842, 6. The Zincali, An Account of the Gypsies of Spain, 1907. El Gitanismo, Historia, Costumbres, y Dialecto de los Gitanos. Mbaoe Majaro Lucas. John Sampson. The dialect of the Gypsies of Wales, being the older form of British Romani preserved in the speech of the clan of Abram Wood. Oxford, Clarendon Press, 1926. XXIII, 230p, 7. External links Romani Project at Manchester University, with a collection of downloadable papers about the Romani language and a collection of links to Romani media. Outline of Romani Grammar Victor A. Friedman Partial Romani, English Dictionary Compiled by Angela Batal Libel and Will Strain Romlex Lexical Database of Different Dialects of Romani Romani Swadesh List of Basic Vocabulary Words From Wiktionary Swadesh List Appendix Romani language in Macedonia in the third millennium, progress and problems. Victor Friedman. The Romani language in the Republic of Macedonia, status, usage and sociolinguistic perspectives, Victor Friedman. Romani Wikipedia, head page.